How's everybody doing today? This is Aaron Weaver, the boiler guy with Raypack. I want to show everybody a little bit about our X-Therm uh, boiler, water heater, or a pool heater. In this configuration, it is a boiler. Uh, most people don't understand, they're mystified, like this magic box that we got in the back, and what are we doing with the piping and the pumping? And Well, I'm gonna make it simple, because I get this question a lot. So, in the middle, right here, in the main central part of the boiler, we have a copper primary heat exchanger. Then right here, you can see we have a stainless steel secondary heat exchanger. Now, it's very simple. We have a main pump pumping through the primary copper heat exchanger to make sure that we have adequate flow at all times because in a forced circulation boiler, you gotta do that. Otherwise, you scale the tubes up and it gets destroyed. So, and then what we also have in here is a set of twin variable speed pumps. And they modulate on and off based on our sensors in the boiler to keep the temperature at the inlet of the copper boiler above condensing temperature so it doesn't condense. So to keep this simple, if you look up here, there's a crossover bridge. I don't know if you can see that piping. So right there, that's on the discharge. And then you can see right here. So that allows it to short circuit and come back around to make sure that we have flow through the main, main heat exchanger. Then the injector pumps are right here. So it's the equivalent of having almost like an H bridge or a second primary secondary pumping system within the boiler. So that's how we make it work. It works well. Uh, I have a system near my house. It's uh, been 60 degree ground source heat pump loop. It's been in there three years now and it's working just fine. So. Uh, thanks for spending a little bit of time with uh, Aaron Weaver, the boiler guy with Raypack. Thanks.